Hello my people with thick asses but even thicker hearts, what is up? You might be wondering, Nicole, why do you look like a toe? The answer, my friend, is that I am bleaching and dyeing my hair today. My hair normally looks like this and I use Sunset Orange and Cosmic Sunshine by Arctic Fox to get this color. I've had orange hair for about eight or nine months now, but the mullet itself I've only had for a couple months. And I did record a video of that whole process when I did that. The awesome thing about having a mullet is that you can't tell that your roots are growing out because your hair flips over them. However, my hair grows really fast and the fringe part of the mullet is so long I can't see. I had the idea, since I'm lazy, to let my mullet grow out into a shag haircut. But going full circle, if I have a shag haircut where my hair split down the middle, now you can see my roots. And so here's the big dilemma. We're just gonna be honest with each other right now. My hair looks like a shit show. I have long roots up top, even longer roots down here, and I have the genius idea to just bleach it all. I'm not gonna bleach my roots and then bleach the rest of my hair. I'm just, I'm gonna bleach it all and then put color over that. In particular, I bought another bottle of Sunset Orange by Arctic Fox, but I also got Electric Paradise. I I don't know what this will look like. I haven't envisioned that it'll be like a vibrant rose gold, but I also don't know if that's a thing. So this is all gonna be an experiment. And if you're here for genuine knowledge on how to bleach or dye your hair, I'm so sorry, but I'm, I don't, I've been doing my hair for like eight years now. I don't measure shit. I eyeball it and hope for the best. And that is the experience we're getting here today. So. With that said, let's fuck my hair up. <laughs> so when I was younger, as in 13, 14, 15, 16, I was emo. I don't talk about it very much because it's a dark time in my life, but I was in fact one of those people that was on like those scene queen Facebook pages and would have like people catfishing by using their images. One of my favorite people was Lita Muir. Um, at the time she went by Hi, it's Lita Bunny. She deleted her channel at some point because she was going through quite a bit of emotional distress. And she's since returned to the internet, but she isn't super active and she's more present as a writer and a gamer rather than a scene queen. At the time though, she was like my fucking role model. And there was one video she had called her hair timeline and it was essentially all the hairstyles she had all the different haircuts and hair colors um, from a certain time period and I remember watching that and being like I'm going to do that one day and I don't particularly have an interest to do so anymore but I figured that while I was doing my hair today I would show you some old hairstyles that I did have now I do believe that I am a notorious rambler so instead of me doing that while I'm bleaching my hair I'm going to presently jam out to music and let editing Nicole take the lead with her narration <laughs> Hello, hello. So I'm not gonna show every minuscule variation of each hairstyle I've had, but instead show you the major differences between my hairstyles from when I was 16 to when I am this year's old, which is 22. <laughs> like I showed earlier, there's this picture of when I was emo, but after that nightmare of a phase, I went very soft and got this like rose goldy pink color, cut my hair short, got bangs, I did the whole thing. But then I grew out my hair and bleached it blonde. My bangs are done a lot better in this one too. They're thinner and softer. It's still crooked, but. <laughs> I dyed it a dark brown after that and please ignore my eyebrows. I know they are atrocious, but I didn't know what I was doing. Throughout a lot of these hairstyles, you'll see me fluctuate between having bangs and growing them out through a middle part. So. With this next photo, I cut them again. I was honestly having a lot of self-esteem issues at this time, and so I had really long bangs, layers, it was black, it was able to cover my face really easily, and that's why I got that hairstyle. However, I took a big 180 with that kind of hairstyle and shaved my head for the first time. I was 17 at the time, and it was simply because I wasn't able to lighten it more than a really dark brown, and I did want to move back to having blonde hair, so I buzzed it all off and kind of just grew it out like this pixie cut here. When it did grow out, I eventually bleached it and dyed it emerald green. <laughs> I think I was 18 at the time. I just got into university and at the time I was full throttle into the fine arts and I liked K-pop. So it kind of was just a whole, it was a whole get up. But eventually I went back to having black hair. <laughs> 
To this day, it's the most neutral hair color I feel comfortable with and don't get bored of really quickly, whereas I get very bored of browns. So this is kind of, this has always been my go-to hairstyle and color. Eventually though, I bleached and dyed it into this purple color that had some like gray brown highlights throughout it. It was pretty cool, but it was hard to maintain. So I did gravitate towards doing the same hairstyle, but in a silver color. Silver hair with bangs is one of my favorite hairstyles that I've ever had. And at some point I do plan to go back to it. At this time though, my roots did start growing out and instead of bleaching them, I decided to just let it happen. And I put this rose gold color over top of it so that the roots didn't look so harsh. But eventually my roots kept growing and it started looking whack. So I dyed it brown. I think the brown hair suits me well because it does match my eyebrows and it goes well with my skin tone, but it's just so boring. So eventually I did the black hair and blonde bang sort of thing. And my hair actually felt super healthy. It was getting really long too. I truthfully loved this hairstyle, but somewhere along the way it became an e-girl hairstyle and that's not how I was trying to be. I started seeing more and more people with either blonde bangs or the two long blonde strips in the front of the hair and and I was having emo flashbacks and I was like, get me out of here. So then I went to orange hair. <laughs> I love it a lot and most of the videos you've seen me in have been in this hairstyle. And then recently, as of the last two months, the same color but with a mullet. I'm a little sad to see the mullet go, but ultimately I'm more excited to have a new change. That is all for the major hairstyles though, so I am going to pass off the mic to three-dimensional Nicole. <laughs> I just washed my hair in the shower, so my face is kind of dry and pink, so ignore that. Um, but here's the bleached hair. I honestly fuck with it, and I've had this hair color before, but it's just been like a really long time since. I think it would have been high school the last time I was properly blonde, so I'm kind of feeling it. <laughs> I also discovered that with a ponytail in my hair, I look like an e-boy, so that's fun. My gay side tells me that this should be the look. However, I plan to chop off all my hair when it starts to fall out. So I'm gonna wait for that moment. But until then, we're gonna go back to the original mission because despite how much I do like the blonde, I'm ready for the peach baby. The color I ended up making is a little more orange than I wanted it to be. I somewhat overcompensated on the ratio of hair dye I was using, but that is all right. Part of why I'm doing this mixture between pink and orange is because the way I retouch my hair is I put a little bit of hair dye in my conditioner every single time I shower. The reason I do this is because as we all know, I am lazy. And by putting hair dye in my conditioner, I don't need to retouch my hair. So the idea behind doing pink and orange as a hair color is that if I'm feeling like having more pink hair, then I'll only have to put pink in the conditioner. Or if I'm feeling like I wanna rock the orange stronger, then I'll only put orange in the conditioner. So I'm hoping that this color will be flexible for me because I just think that would be really fun and dandy. Also, I always find that people who do their hair on YouTube are like so fucking funny. And when I'm doing my hair, I literally just like zone out into a void. Like doing any sort of commentary at the same time is so difficult for me. So I do apologize for my lack of chaotic energy, but it's just, doing my hair is so zen. Also, I never explained why I'm doing this. Um, besides the fact that I'm somewhat bored of my appearance, I am giving in to the whole new year, new me kind of thing. I would rather say new year, new bitch, but either way, it means the same thing. 2020 has been a shit show of a year, as we all know, in every way possible. Many of my friends' relatives and friends have died in protests and because of COVID. And in general, having to be locked down with all of these intense emotions and not even being able to like go anywhere or do anything about it hasn't been easy for anyone. And despite the fact that I am already an introspective person and already do reflect on my feelings and the things that are happening around me quite often. I've never had to do it quite at this level and it's to the point that my usual coping mechanisms, like I, I can't do them. I used to go to the art gallery a lot and go swimming as a form of self-care and I, I can't do that. I'm moving the camera so I can show you my tattoo but I have these diving board people and when I was at work the other day, a man saw them and he goes, that's a really interesting tattoo, what does it mean? And I was like, oh, I got this because I'm a swimmer. And that literally spiraled me into a bunch of thoughts that started with, 
Am I a swimmer? I haven't went swimming in nine months. I haven't been able to do the things that have become a part of my identity. And doing my hair used to be one of those things. Today, I am bleaching and dyeing and cutting it to feel something, but also just to have a new start. Like, I completely understand that COVID and all of the other turmoil that's come up this year isn't going to magically disappear on January 1st, but my depression has been kicking my ass and, and my phone died, look at that. Basically what I'm saying is that 2020 was rough and I wanna leave that version of myself behind. Not the things I learned or the ways I've grown, but just the way my depression works is very spiraling and it grabs on to traumas a lot. And I find that changing pieces of my appearance, such as my hair, helps me disassociate from the versions of myself experiencing those traumas. And 2020, just as a whole year, is something that I need to separate from. So that's kind of my long-winded answer of why this is a thing. I'm going to leave my phone to continue charging as I wash out the hair dye and blow dry my hair and everything. When I come back, it's probably gonna be dark out. Right now it's 4.44. <laughs> if you watched my last video, I was literally just talking about angel numbers and it's 4.44 right now. Anyways, the sun goes down at five. So when I come back, it's gonna be fucking dark, but I'm gonna have my makeup done and finally change out of this bleached shirt. I'm just gonna try to look like a baddie, so. Here's the final reveal. It's finally done, I'm so happy with it. Now that this pinky orange is actually on my head, I can better visualize how my hair will look if I put more pink or more orange in my conditioner. But I can also tell that I have the option of just letting this fade into like a pastel peachy color. This is what it looks like, faded and in better lighting. I don't know, I have a lot of options, but I'm super excited for just this color that I have right now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and like I said in my mullet cutting video, if you like this, let me know down below, and if you don't, don't say anything. I also hope you have a wonderful 2021 and are also finding ways to refresh yourself and prepare for the new year. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that shit. And I will see you next Wednesday slash Thursday. Goodbye.